conference outside Chase Center, abortion rights activist Kareem McKnight says she was surprised by how Chase Center security reacted to her act of civil disobedience during game five of the NBA Finals. This is video her legal team shared of the incident. She was even more surprised when she says a San Francisco police sergeant outside the arena told her she'd be sedated if she didn't comply with orders. And while I was on the ground, handcuffed in front of the emergency vehicle, one of the firefighters came with a needle towards me. This is video McKnight recorded inside a San Francisco Fire Department ambulance as she was being transported to a local hospital. It was a completely unnecessary to do that. We're blurring the face of the paramedic because no specific fire department employee is named in the lawsuit. According to medical records McKnight showed us today, those firefighters injected her with five milligrams of a powerful sedative called Versed. The lawsuit isn't seeking a specific amount in damages. What civil rights attorney John Burris says he really wants to know is why his client was injected with a sedative in the first place. She was on a gurney. She had handcuffs on it. She was not a threat to anyone else, okay? Uh, she certainly wasn't a danger to herself. At the news conference, John Burris said he's aware sedatives are sometimes used during arrests when the suspect is violent and under the influence of drugs or alcohol. But McKnight says she was stone cold sober. She was also not charged with anything. We've reached out to the San Francisco Fire Department and Police Department for comment. They've referred us to the city attorney. A city attorney spokesperson replied with a short email saying, we have yet to be served with the lawsuit. We will review it once we are served and respond appropriately. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.